Welcome back, we're in the bunch, and we're looking at Double Trail as a passing play in Madden 16. Double tra he Trail here is one of our complementary plays of the offense, uh, something that doesn't get a ton of call, uh, but something that is really effective. Now, a couple things at the snap we want to note. DeMarco Murray's route is really, really effective. It's a quick snap throw uh, for blitzing situations, so we like to use that uh, with this. And so what we're going to do is we're going to place Des Bryant on a curl. That's our first hot route that we really want to focus in on. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to use Cole's Beasley, Cole Beasley's route, uh, if we can get the play art. And we're going to take it and we're going to change it just a little bit. We're going to place him on a little in pattern. And you see this? We're going to put him on the in pattern. And we're going to motion him in two steps. One, two, and we snap the ball. Okay? And what you're going to see here, and, and that didn't actually work as well as I wanted it to, uh, what we may end up doing is we may just leave him on the drag. Let me check something real quick, guys. And you see there's the drag. Um, what I'm actually going to do with this is I'm going to do a little motion game. And so I'm going to bring him out and then bring him back in. So I'm going to bring him out like I'm running the verticals play. And then I'm going to bring him back in and snap him after a couple steps. And you see now he's going to come in and it's going to be a lot better spacing and timing for the entire play. Now first and foremost, let's talk man coverage. Okay? And let's talk read progression. The first thing that we are going to look at every single time is this right side of the field. Are they bring, what is this guy doing right here? This guy right here, Wagner. He drops back, we know that they're in a zone. He comes forward, we know that they're in man coverage, and we're going to take advantage of that. So we play our little motion game. We're going to bring Beasley out and bring him back in. And we see that he stays still, so they're in man. We're going to pass lead down curl against man 100% of the time. That's our first route. I mean, in, in every time. Uh, this is a very effective route in this game. We, like, we need to start taking advantage of pass lead down curls if we have not already done that. Here it is again. Pass lead down curl. Des Bryant on Richard Sherman. Great matchup, but Des Bryant's going to win that with a pass lead down curl. Second thing we note against man coverage is typically DeMarco Murray's not going to be open. Uh, and so we'll see that here. DeMarco Murray's covered, and, uh, but we see that this trail route is also covered. It, it, it depends. From time to time, that will work. The trail route will work. Um, one thing you can do to make that trail route a little better against man is to place Dick Cole Beasley on a hitch route, kind of leave him there. It's going to work as a little rub play, and then uh, and we didn't get quite the separation there, but you'll see it here. Uh, this is the, the pick play. Leave him on that little drag pattern. He's going to come through the rough, and we'll be able to get big yardage. Uh, I personally don't like that as much. Uh, because I think it causes a lot of congestion, and I try to stay away from that if I can. I try to just beat man with my routes, not necessarily with my picks and rubs. And uh, so here, and there you see Witten's separation, and that's kind of the potential you have at this play to get that. Not always going to get it, uh, but you will sometimes, and so take advantage of it when you do get it. Uh, against, when we run that verticals play, Cole Beasley's going to crush man, so they'll be watching out for that. When we bring him back in, you're going to see He's going to beat man coverage uh, really nicely over the middle uh, for quick underneath yardage. Uh, and, and so almost, uh, you know, we've got three routes so far that, that really will do a decent job uh, against man. Um, and, and then the final one, Terrence Williams, uh, when he cuts to the inside, we can hit him uh, on that press man coverage there. So there's some options for man. Let's talk zone. Um, now cover three and uh, cover four. Is, is kind of the primary one that this play was built for. Against cover three, we're going to see that Wagner's going to back up. We need to then identify the safety on the right side of the field. What's he going to do? Is he going to come down? Here he comes down, so we know that we, we, know that we can't hit Des Bryant. If the safety comes down, we can't. We just can't do it. They have too much numbers. Um, we're just not going to be able to beat uh, the cover three on the right side of the field. So then we're going to look more to the left side. And what you're going to see here is that trail route is going to give Cole Beasley a lot of separation over the middle, and you're going to be able to hit him as he cuts uh, over the middle of the field. Here's cover four, and uh, you see Cole Beasley again is going to do a good job. Cole Beasley is your primary target uh, on this play. The routes around him are more of, of, of pick routes and spacing routes, and they, they help give him the room to operate. But he's kind of the primary target. Um, this deep post to Williams works as a levels concept. And so what you're going to see is oftentimes uh, against plays like the cover three, you're going to have an opportunity to hit him. Uh, but you need to be careful not to throw the interception. You need to watch, make sure he is open. Uh, but against the cover two, oftentimes, you're going to eat. Uh, Colby is going to get a lot of money uh, and a lot of takes underneath. 
and you're going to see here that the defense will eventually start to suck down. They'll start to play that underneath route uh, more so than that over-the-top route, and what you're going to see is Terrence Williams and Jason Witten's game are going to start to really open up. Here you see Terrence Williams over the middle for 15 yards. So that's really all we want to do with double trail. Um, really a simple play. Uh, one thing, if you want to go super man-beater with this, you can put Williams on a hitch route, and you're going to be able to really do good stuff against man against uh, with, with Cole Beasley coming out of the backfield there. Uh, he does a really nice job. Uh, one other thing, again, is you could take Witt and put him on the zig, and, and you have really good man beaters, uh, really good stuff to kind of do a good job. But, again, you're not going to get a ton of yardage because it is a drag route. Um, and so that's something we do need to be at least cognizant of aware of. But that's the double trail. Uh, very simple play. And uh, just a couple more plays here. But that is a little mix-up play I'll throw in from time to time. Uh, when I really want to really work off that verticals play, uh, I'll bring this out and come out in this. And, and normally this does a nice little job of, of, uh, of staying com confident but still uh, – Staying aggressive, but still at the same time being being consistent. And I really like the uh, the route to Dez uh, against man. Uh, zone, I don't really like it as much because of the fact that it gets it gets dicey over there sometimes, um, you know, with purples and, and flat zones. And there you see, I mean, we threw right at the zone, and and he, he played it. So, uh, and, you know, in other years he may not have played it, but – but he did there. And then sometimes you can take shots, but with this play as well, put him on that streak if you think they're in zone. And what I really like to do is if you think they're in zone, you know, like this where the corners are backed off and you think they're in zone, put him on that fade route and then uh, throw it and you got to go make a user catch. But what I really like this for, it's just, it's just a user catching game. And, and at some, some points, if I want to do it, you know, I can. Uh, I've tried a couple different techniques with it here, uh, pass leading outside, pass leading inside. Uh, but what I find most effective is to pass lead it up and then go make a little swerve animation and try to get it. Uh, here you, see, you haven't seen a lot of success, uh, and it's something that you have to work on. I've been out of the game for a little bit. Um, but you know, let's try it one more time here. Let's see if we can just show you the potential with this. There, I mean, just a, just a kind of a glance. I mean, you're trying to take advantage of the un, un bump and on the one on one, uh, one on one uh, that you get here. Uh, but again, it is, it is difficult. Um, if you throw a bullet, if you bullet it, like I said, you run the risk of getting picked. If you lob it, the success rate is smaller, but it's more safe, uh, in my opinion. Here, I'm going to lob it up again. And there you see, I mean, they're not going to intercept it, but um, you're not always going to catch it as well. And some bad users there, but just some ideas. I mean, if you're good at user catching, I'm not quite great at it yet, so I'm not, I'm not one to teach on it. But uh, like I said, it is, a, it is an option. It is something that we've done in the past. Um, the problem is this game is a little bit better. Uh, than the years past that the cornerbacks playing the game, uh, playing the ball as well a, a little better. So I stick normally with the curl. When I get in the 30-yard line and, and kind of in, I will take a couple shots. And I have, I've had a lot of success in games with this. Um, not as much in practice mode as you can see, but in games I have had some success uh, with this and just kind of giving him a jump ball. But... Like I said, you could try that. You could not. Uh, as you've seen, it hasn't been as successful for me here. Uh, but normally I do have some decent success with it. Uh, it just, you know, it just uh, takes practice and timing and all the, the fun stuff that, that I don't always have time to do. So uh, one other tip here real quick, just to, if we're talking user catch, you can put him on an out route, and then you see he's going to come back in, and this gives you really good position. Um, you can try that if you want. Like I said, it's not a big, it's not a big secret. Not something that's really going to change your game. You can also try the same thing with flat routes, uh, but they've been staying down. They used to bounce um, a couple years ago, and they were really good for user catching, but not as much this anymore. Uh, so just kind of a quick little some things you can do with user the user game. Uh, I find the out routes most effective out of any type of user catch. Uh, I think they just get the best animations and the best separation, but they do take a lot of time to develop. 
and um, but there you see a little bit of a, a little taste of what it can do for you. Um, so that's kind of that. Um, the comebacks, the comebacks in my opinion are really underrated because I don't think zone can cover him uh, very well. Any cover, f I don't think cover four can. Uh, I don't think cover three can either. If you put him on a comeback route and pass lead it down and outside, uh, when he breaks, I think that you're going to have a very high success rate. Uh, here, let me show you cover uh, two against that as well. Just some ideas, some things you can do with this play. Uh, the cover two, uh, it, it, it plays it really well. Uh, but what you have in the cover two is you then have the running back. Uh, so just some stuff there, just some, some basic ideas of things that you can do with solo receivers. Um, but more importantly than that, the double trail play, uh, I feel like there. And there's your user catch. I mean, that's what you're looking for and just hoping that the catch and traffic rating really helps him out there. Um, and here we'll show you one more time. And that's the that's the dream. That's the goal. That's what you're looking for with that. So so just some ideas and things you can.